Hi guys, welcome back to my studio. I am Julie E and this is acrylic painting with me, Julie E. And I'm so happy to be back. Oh my gosh, I apologize for the fast forward videos for the last couple weeks. Thank you for hanging in there with me guys. If you know anything about arthritis and fibromyalgia, you know that when the rainy season starts, we kind of end up going down. So um, I really appreciate all your love and support and hanging in, me, in there with me through it. Um, what we're doing today, I just watched a video of Fiona's that was very inspiring. Uh, she put down a napkin and then drizzled her paint for a dip on the napkin and I thought I wonder if I could do that with the bottom bottle pour and but instead of a napkin I'm using that um, plastic divider protector that you get in like value packs of canvases and so I've got that and I've got it taped down so that when I pull the canvas up it won't lift with the canvas the suction of the paint between the two our recipe today is just my, there it is, oh, it's heavy. <laughs> it is 70% Elmer's white school glue, just the old fashioned kind with 30% water. So in one of these big gallon jugs, I put 70 ounces of the Elmer's school glue, and then I add 30 ounces of water and then I shake it to the point of insanity. So there's that. That's our pouring medium. Nothing else except maybe a little extra water to thin all the paints down to the right consistency. Uh, the paints we're using this is kind of a little special recipe that I kind of cooked up while I was playing around because everything's an experiment, right? Um, this is titanium white, and I used about, oh, I would say just a little over half an ounce, and then I matched um, it all the way up to an ounce with the satin enamel, so about uh, half an ounce of the satin enamel also, maybe just a little less, and then to that I added a little bit of Liquitex, Liquitex Basics, Julie trying to talk take two, um, Liquitex Basics Acrylics in gold. Just a smidge. I don't even think it registered on the scale. But it's just enough to give it a really nice kind of creamy, almost really super light, oh, champagne-ish kind of tint to it. Very pretty. So that's that combination for that one. That is our white. Then this one, of course, Reflex Rose by Amsterdam with just a two drops of Quinacridone Magenta by Golden Fluid Acrylics. Okay, you see those? Hopefully. There we go. Okay, then this one, very, very pretty. That is Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in Garnet. That's the bright metallic paint. I get a lot of glare today, so I'm sorry. Uh, then, last but not least, we have my favorite Amsterdam Greenish Blue. I love this color, it's so gorgeous. And you see it on the stick? You can see kind of the greenish that it gets. So it does, it kind of changes color with thicknesses. The lighter it gets, the greener it gets, the darker it gets, the bluer it gets. And yeah, um, yum, 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 yum. Want to eat it, yum. Okay, <laughs> sorry, got a little overexcited. I'm just happy to be back in the studio, man. So yeah, one of these, I got two cups of that. Because one is going to be our base coat on our plastic, and then we're going to put that down and do our paints. All right, let's get started.
I did that wrong way. It should be this way. Oops. Oopsie. I'm just making a mess, ain't I? See what happens when you stay in the studio too long? <laughs> that messed up. Okay. Okay, enough of this playing around. Let's squish. Let us squish. Or dip. Whatever you want to call it. Why not dip, you dip, we dip. Okay, here we go. I don't know if Fiona's done a bottle bottom pour dip like this. Maybe she has. Maybe this is not an original idea. Maybe I just watch way too much Fiona and now her ideas have become mine. <laughs> Who knows? I'm being silly. I'm sorry. All right. Okay. Moment of truth. Try and lift this baby up. Hopefully my push pins stay in. All right. Nice and even. Nice and even. Come on. Oh, let go, let go, let go, let go, let go. Ooh, there we go. Okay. We're up. We're up and over. Ooh. That's pretty kind of cool. Wow. Wow. Can you see that lacing? Look at that lacing. Oh my God. Oh, this was fantastic. Oh, I will touch up the sides with the Amsterdam. Holy moly. Holy Toledo. It's not a perfect flower, but look at that. Look at that. That is just Elmer's school glue and water. That's it. That is it. Woohoo. I am digging this. All right, let me torch this one because I got some air bubbles there. I do, I do. All right. Check that out. There's another air bubble. Pop that little baby. There we go. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. How cool is it? Yes. I am going to let this dry and peel it up and let this dry. And yeah, we'll come back in a little while for uh, dry results. Well, You'll see it in like a second, but I have to wait. See you in a snap. I can't snap my fingers today. Sorry. Hey guys. So it's been a few minutes and yeah, I got some awesome, awesome effects, but check it out. That's that satin enamel. The satin enamel is bleeding out. So... I am going to try this again and leave out the satin enamel out of the titanium. But I'm going to keep the titanium white and the Liquitex Basics Gold. But yeah, look at that lacing. Oh my god. The lacing and the inability styles. They're adorable. They're adorable. So, okay. A little bit of changes. I'm going to do a black base this time because I didn't like the way the blue happened there. And then um, I have a yellow by Amsterdam. I have some folk art color shift. Woo, that one almost bit it. Um, this one is Orchid Flash. And this one is purple flash and then I also have this one and it is 
Um, I think that says blue. Blue flash? Part of the label's off. Okay, yeah, it must be blue flash. So, got those. All right, let's get going because there are storms moving in. Paints are too thin too. I watered them down too much. Ah, totally missed the yellow there. Okay, let's give it a shot. See what happens. You know, you never know. It might be cool. It might. But yeah, note to self, do not add so much water. Ah, note to you too, don't add too much water. All right, squish, 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 squish. Okay, that should be good, I hope. All right, here we go. Try and lift straight up. Oh, there's that suction. Don't pull out my push pins. Oh, okay. There we go, I'm up. And flip. Wow. That is cool. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Not big on that spot right there, but yeah, it's 
kind of cool. Look at that lacing. Look at that, that part I don't like. That right there. That's not good. That's not good at all. But that part and these parts are really cool. So, okay. Well, this might be another bust. And I do not like that part right there. It's that part. Hmm. I'm wondering what I can do about that corner. That corner is really bugging me. Really bugging me. Let's see. What have I got around here? Okay. Let's check it out. Haha! Uh -huh. I have a little ball. A little blue ball that I got from the dollar store. Let's see if I can get both in here, kind of, yep. Yeah. You can kind of see what I'm doing, right? I love how bright this one is. That turqu that um, Amsterdam greenish blue next to the reflex rose is so pretty. All right, so right here is the part I don't like and I can kind of see the canvas. Okay, let's let's try and dip it. What the heck, right? Okay, here we go. I don't do balloon dips very well, so okay there. And let's see. There. Yeah. Told you I don't do them very well. Hmm. Okay. Put some paint on here. Ooh, that's a lot of black, huh? All right. It's really pretty on the ball. <laughs> Look at the lacing that's showing up. That's pretty. Okay, and around here. Nope, that's not gonna work. Hmm. God, that lacing. If I can get the consistency right, I think I'm onto something. I really do. I just have to get the consistency right. Because right now it's too thin. And I have to get my table level. Can you see all this pushing that way? You know what? Let's do a swipe. And I love the pink, so I want most of the pink to show up. That is so pretty. And I love the yellow. So we'll put down the yellow. And I can see some of the pink popping up and my push pins are crooked too. Man, everything's off balance tonight. <laughs> I've always been a little off balance, but that's me. I don't want it to happen to my paintings. Okay, and let's put a little bit of this down here. And let's go with this pretty purple. That is so pretty. All right, and hmm, what now? More pink. More pink. More pink. Pink, pink, pink. And then the yellow again. And then the blue. There we go. What are we gonna swipe with? I wonder if the Amsterdam will. I wonder if the greenish blue will lace. Let's try it. Cause I don't have any oxide black mixed up. And I don't like how that titanium white is. It's too thin for some reason. Too much water, so, all right. Here we go, and of course I grabbed the black. It's not my night tonight, guys. But 
but maybe I can tip it. Check that out. Check that out. No silicone in these. No silicone at all. No flow troll. None of that. This is just glue and water and paint. Oh, check that out. Oh my God, is that pretty. That is so pretty. I haven't even torched yet. Off that corner. Off this corner. Bring it back. Maybe a little bit there. Okay, now bring it back. There. There. Oh. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Pretty cool, I would say. I hope it holds. Okay. That is it for me, guys. I am beat. And, yeah, so three paintings today. Yeah, I... I messed up. I did. I put in too much water into my paints. And you can kind of see what's happening. They're getting really weird and wonky. So that's because I mixed them too thin. But yeah, I didn't know the Amsterdam greenish blue would uh, lace like that. So kind of glad I did these experiments. I learned something. Well, I learned a few things. Hope you did too. Okay, we're back with dry results. Here was the first one we did with the satin enamels, and it it dried really smooth and everything, but yeah, I don't care for the composition and stuff, but I just got in some Posca pens, and I want to practice embellishing with them, so this will be a great practice canvas. So... I will show you embellished results in a later video. And then this one. This one came out really cool. Um, the cells got all kind of wonky and everything because the paints were too thin. And my table was a little uneven, so they traveled too. But it dried really nice. Dried nice and smooth. And yeah, I kind of like it. And I might embellish this one too. Who knows? We'll see how it goes. Okay, till next time, guys. Loves and hugs you all. Bye.